What's going on guys? Welcome to your 35th Android tutorial with me Travis for my bring back. Uh, basically your second tutorial for sprites and sprite animation. Um, but what we're going to do, um, actually before we get into this tutorial, I just want to go over the key points again uh, to get you guys understanding what we're doing and what we need to do. So all we're doing within this surface view example class is we're setting up the bitmap which we decoded within our onCreate method. Pretty simple and we also set up a sprite. Uh, instance or object. And again, just to review, uh, we set up this our view class, uh, which is our surface view, and it kind of handles all of our graphics, our physics, uh, stuff like that. Um, anytime you know something updates, uh, we're doing that within this class here. So that's where we're going to define our sprite. Again, the construction of a sprite, it takes in something, um, two, two things within its parameters, a bitmap that we already set up, and also uh, we're saying this, which is basically our view. We could also do our uh, view dot this. And uh, so again, we just need our view for the first parameter and a bitmap for the second parameter. Um, and then all we're going to do is we're going to call this on draw method from the sprite class. So we, again, we need to create a method within our sprite class called on draw. And again, within Eclipse, pretty simple. We can just hover over these. We can say uh, create a constructor that takes a R view and a bitmap. So we're just going to do that. Click there, and then we're going to go back to our surface view example class. And we're going to go to this on draw method, and then we're also going to say create method on draw canvas, which takes again a canvas within the parameters. And again, this method uh, we want the canvas that we're working with, so that's what we're passing in again. I uh, just get, get you guys kind of the key values, key points, all that good stuff. And we're get, getting over into our sprite class as you can see it set up the constructor for us and our first method called on draw and we also have to import our view uh, class so as you can see this comes from our package name at dot the service view example because again that's where we defined our view um, class so after we add that import we're good to go we're good to start programming our sprite uh, animation and all that good stuff. So the first thing that we want is we, again we want an x and a y value. So we're just going to say int x and int y. We also want a you know a speed because if we say x and y are both equal to zero at the beginning, uh, and we want to move it to the right, we're going to have to add to our x value a little bit and add to our y value a little bit. Or actually, if we're going right, we don't have to add to the y value. But we also want to set those up as well. So we're going to say int and we could have done it on the same line I guess but uh, we're gonna say x speed and y speed we also want the height and width of our bitmap so when it collides into the wall we can process that data so again we're just gonna say int uh, height and width so again we can kinda sub subtract that from the current position so it looks like it collides with the wall all that good stuff and lastly uh, for now what we want to do is we want to set up a bitmap and we're going to call this um, blob or we're going to yeah we're going to call this just B and uh, that's going to stand for the bitmap that's being passed in and we also want to handle our view class as well so we're going to call this OV so now what we want to do is we want to set up these variables for our sprite class to equal whatever is being passed in from our constructor if that makes any sense so we're going to say b is equal to what's being passed in so blob pretty simple right and also we want ov to be equal to our view so now uh, we, we are able to use uh, the bitmap or the blob down here in this method if we refer to b um, again we've kind of done this before when we worked with constructors uh, we're just obtaining that information so we can use it in other methods within our sprite class. Next we want to set up our height and width value so we're going to say height is equal to our bitmap that's being passed in again as well um, which we can now refer to as B and we're just going to say get height and we're good to go and also for our width we're going to set our width equal to be B dot uh, get width pretty standard methods I believe we've used before as well but now we can kind of refer to those int values of the height and of the width of our bitmap uh, we also might want to set our initial x and y values to be 0 so we're just going to say x equals y equals 0 and we also want to set our x and uh, y speed so we're going to say speed is equal to we'll say 5 to start out with and also our y speed to be zero 
um, again this is basically saying it's going to go to the right as for now it's, again it's not doing anything we're just kind of defining that so now what we want to do is we want to use this on draw method because again within our surface view class uh, within the on draw method of our surface view class again these are different methods this is for our view um, and this is where our canvas is unlocked and we're drawing to it um, but uh, what we want this class to do is we want to again draw to that canvas as well so all we're going to do is we're going to refer to the canvas that's being passed in which is called canvas we're just going to say dot draw bitmap and we're going to use this one that takes a source also uh, kind of the scaling value of it and the paint as well so we're just going to click on that and get these set up again for our bitmap that's going to refer to our blob that's being passed in which we relabeled B for our source what we're going to set this equal to oh we'll actually get to that we'll set that up here in a second just change the paint to null again and now we need to set up the source value and this value as well both of these are rectangles if you can see here from the method uh, the recs um, or rectangles so we're gonna set those up so we're gonna set rectangle and we're also gonna set rec uh, DST and first what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this rectangle to be a new rec for our source again we're gonna set it at the position 0 uh, comma 0 and because that will be the top left corner of the bitmap and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say uh, the width and the height and we're gonna change this later uh, this is gonna be the actual section of our uh, sprite sheet that we want to cut out but as for now we're just gonna use our whole sprite sheet so again starting from the 0 0 going as far as the width is and as far down as the height is and then for our uh, scaling factor what we're gonna do is we're gonna say uh, we're basically gonna keep it the same but we're gonna refer to where it should be painted at uh, so we're, again we're just gonna say new rec we're gonna refer to the X value and the Y value and then we're also gonna refer to how uh, far over we want it to paint on our sprite sheet as well so we're gonna just say X uh, plus the width of the sprite sheet and then we're gonna say Y plus the height so let's just save this real quick and we're gonna um, save all of our projects and we should get something on our screen now let's test it out if you guys ran it you probably under you probably saw that you got an error and that's my bad uh, we're gonna jump over to the surface view example class real quickly and we're gonna cut out this sprite where we set this up under our view because again I told you to throw it in the constructor but uh, since we we're passing in our view as one of the parameters and as our view is being set up within the constructor it's going to give us a error message uh, like uh, because obviously that's not good trying to pass in something that's not fully constructed yet so what we're going to do is we're just going to cut that line of code and we're going to paste it down within our run loop uh, while it's okay to run um, right above our canvas line as well and we're just going to set that up where we create our sprite now if we run it uh, save everything and run it you'll get something like this not animated not cut out uh, pretty bland and boring our ball still works and all that stuff so that's good at least but uh, now what we're going to do is we're actually going to animate this so it bounces off all four corners